Newly released video you'll see only right here on 6 takes us inside the violent shootout between two Doral police officers and a gunman. It happened back on October of 2021 near the Miami-Dade police headquarters. Some dramatic video there. Two Doral police officers shot. The suspect killed. Kim Wynn is live outside the Doral Police Department with the dramatic video. Kim. Within seconds. Back-to-back -back gunshots were fired between a Doral police officer and 25-year-old Jordani Rodriguez Perez. Body-worn camera video shows one officer reloading his clip, getting out, then firing again. Drops of blood and shell casings falling to the ground. At one point, you see blood on the officer's hands. It happened October 2021. The shootout wounded two Doral police officers. Investigators say Officer Johnny Butalis was shot in the leg and Officer Daniel Villarchal was grazed on his face. Our cameras captured both officers being rushed to the hospital. Rodriguez Perez was shot and killed by the officers who were later cleared by the state attorney's office, which determined that their actions were justified. Former Doral police spokesperson Ray Valdez didn't mince his words the day of the shooting. When you decide to shoot at someone who is trusted and charged with the safety of the community, you must be a very sick and very desperate individual. According to the state attorney's office, Rodriguez Perez was at his old job in Sweetwater that morning when he got into an altercation with two different people. At some point, the report states that the suspect got in his car and started following one of them when they tried to leave, then shot at their car. The driver ended up near Miami-Dade Police headquarters in Doral. Investigators say when officers responded, the suspect jumped out of his car and started shooting at officers who returned fire. The day of the shooting, officers surrounded Ryder Trauma Center, standing in solidarity with their own.